hi welcome back to my channel and today i will be telling you how to um start with your micro pen and i got mine a while ago so i already opened it but here is the micro bit or a micro bit the one i got comes with the battery pack and a usb cord which is if you want to code it from a computer, which I'm actually showing you how to code it from a device, like my tablet. So I'll show you how to get started for the first time if you're getting started for the first time. Although you might run into some things that I not will not because I've done this before. I might ask you a few things, but anyway. Let's start. So, we'll start by getting your device, going to Play Store, or if you have a Apple device, App Store. I'm pretty sure it's also compatible with Apple, but I'm using an Android microbit. You'll want to download it, um, but I'll do open because I already had it. You'll see this to start you'll want to go to the connect I already have mine but you would press pair new micro bit for now um, <clears throat> if you were going to pair new micro bit it would do this which is you hold these two buttons then you press this back button you release it then it'll have a pattern here and you have to copy that pattern onto this I'm just gonna do a random thing then you press pair then I'll say um, then it'll say it's ready anyway for now what we're going to do is we're going to do create code I'm going to show you how to get started with coding it'll go to microbit.org slash code you can read all of this if you want It will go to this one right here with the block. It says Make Code Editor. And it will lead you to this. Um, so if you're new, um, I would recommend you. That's what it says here. New, start here. Which is just... Um, Basically, simple codes that teach you how to <clears throat> use the, like, way to code it. Um, I'm going to, and then, if you're more advanced, you can do these, which is, if, like, this is if you get other micro bits. Uh, there are other things you can get, like the turtle. That's, um, something you can buy separate for the micro bit. Which, once you're advanced into microbit, I do recommend you getting. There's all these things you can code. And it has these, um, like, these vid short things that you can do down here. At the bottom. Anyway, back to the top. I'm going to press new project so I'm just gonna make a really 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 simple code a code that's like in the new start here thing anyway so the first thing you want to do is you see that you press this arrow to make it disappear I'm just going to do something really basic I'm just saying when button A is pressed, show these random, actually, it'll make it more easier to recognize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these four corners. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is, if you want, you can give the project a name. <clears throat> 
I'm going to say, um, I'm not going to give it a name because, well, yeah, I'll just give it a name. I'll just give it four. Four is its name. Then you press save. Download. Pressing save is the same thing as pressing download. Now it's downloaded, so you want to go back to the micro bit. Now you want to go to Flash, My Scripts. Oh, actually, don't press My Scripts. I confused myself. Oh wait, I forgot something. That's why I was confused. Uh, let me go back to Create Code. One thing that I forgot to do was for, you see here, you see it's downloaded, click on it, if you want, you'll see the, all this code, which in my opinion looks cool. This is the code in which your program is written out in. Don't memorize it. At least I wouldn't recommend you memorize it. Now you can go back to here. Connect it. Wait, plug it in. connected <clears throat> now that it's connected you'll press just do this flash <clears throat> now this is just going to be a demo micro bit four so it'll say micro bit at the beginning of each thing so it says right here micro bit so if you named it for example you named it go that's a random name. It would say micro bit, then have that dash, and then have go. So now what I'm going to do is press flash. Flashing. Do not flash the program. Do you want to flash the program to ga Gazos, which is a random name they gave the micro bit, and I do not know why they give it that name, but I haven't figured out how to change it. <clears throat> anyway, I'll press OK. Flash and go to micro bit. Waiting for microbit to reboot. While this process is happening, you do not want to touch your microbit nor your device. So, please do not interact with your microbit before flashing pro progress is complete. And it will show weird um, LED lights, which I do not know why. And I think they're random, but just don't touch it until it says finished. In the meantime, while that's flashing, uh, I will um, say if you want, well, if you're really good at coding your micro bit, there are other things, um, like if you look here, right here, um, drive remote control toys, that's for if you get <clears throat> other um, things for your micro bit, um, which, oh, by the way, this micro bit is connected by Bluetooth. Anyway, which, um, like you can gather things, like for example, a noise adapter, which you connect on the bottom, or a car, which you can control with it. All of those you code, and if you're really good at it, then you should get it. It says right here, successful fla flashing successful. I have successfully downloaded program to microbit. Okay. Reconnect. I don't want to reconnect. At the end, it'll say reconnect if you want to. I press cancel because I don't need to. So now, you saw when I was coding it, I did the four corners. I'm going to press A. One, two, three, four. Those are the same four corners. That was the simplest code ever. And if you can't figure out how to get it to stop, if you see right here, there's a button on the back. You press that, 
to reset your micro bit so it turns off. Not that fun of a code. And then if you're low on space or just for some reason you want to delete it, press the trash can and then press OK. And then it'll delete. And that's how you, I guess, set up your microfit <coughs> and test it and get used to how you code it. I will do more episodes on how to code your microfit, how to do this, how to do that, and basically episodes on just getting to know your microfit. There'll be more episodes on that. I think that's it. Getting started with your micro bit. Oh, and um, let me also say one more thing. When you're in the micro bit app, when you go to the micro bit app for the first time, when you press um, connect and create code, not flash and and i think flash it'll ask it'll um ask you to give permission to the following things then it'll ask you to give permission just press allow to all of those because it asks you to otherwise i don't think it'll work correctly and that's not what you want you want your micro bit to work and that's the last thing i wanted to say that's how you get started with your <clears throat> micro bit. Oh, and if you're wondering what this bottom so gold thing is, it's basically if you go to the micro bit website, not through the app, um, these, it'll um, give you instructions to things and some, like, for example, plant meter, which I tried, and you have to connect alligator clips to certain one of these. So, that's why. Also, if you look over here, you'll see it has like USB, BLE antenna, reset, battery, processor, compass, accelerometer, and pins. If you follow the line, it'll bring you to where that is. Like USB, that's the USB. BLE and antenna. If you look at your micro bit really close, you'll see a little line here. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you'll find it. But I think... I can say something there. Um, reset button, that. Battery, where you plug in the battery, right there. Processor, right there. Compass, right there. Accelerometer, right there. Pins, which are these. Uh, if you're wondering, this has 25 LEDs. And that's it. I get started with your micro bit. That's it.